Daisy UI versus Tailwind UI versus this guy UI. I talk a lot about Daisy UI on this channel. I talk a lot about Tailwind UI. I talk a lot about illegal ferret breeding. Oh no, that's a different channel. But which of these UI libraries is better? Which is easier to use? Which is quicker to build a website with? The way we're gonna find out is we're gonna build the exact same website using Daisy UI, then using Tailwind UI, and then I'm gonna try and build the same website myself using my brain and my own design skills, which don't exist. So that's gonna be really fun. The rules are really simple. Every website has to have the exact same content and it has to have the exact same color scheme. Each website is gonna have a nav bar, a hero, and a bounce section, a blog section, a contact section, and a footer. Simple as that. So that's enough waffling. Let's get into it. First website we're going to build is going to be with Daisy UI. I'm going to be building these websites using Nux to keep it really quick, really simple. I've already generated the content using ChatGPT. I'm now going to get a color scheme using this Coolers website. I'm going to press the space bar 10 times and whichever color scheme it lands on, that's what we're going to use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect, that'll do. I'll keep this page open, we'll refer back to it. This is actually a great opportunity for me to use the theming of Daisy UI, which I've never done before. Let's actually have a look at how we do that. I'm just gonna blitz through this and figure out what I'm doing. Ooh. Can I not just set my own one? Make your theme. There we go. I'm just gonna paste these colors in. These are quite dull colors, aren't they? Doesn't matter, the rules are the rules. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I need more colors. I'm gonna rethink the rules very slightly. Why is warning green? Can I add another color to this? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that whole 10 random colors generation thing again. Okay, let's try again. One. Oh. oh, come on. They know what they're up to. How dare someone try and earn money? How dare they? This is actually shambolic. <sighs> okay, do you know what? We're just gonna pay for it. It's four dollars. It's four dollars. Seven dollars. Convenient. No, oh, okay. Just a word of advice to the owner of this website. Get rid of that free trial thing. I was literally about to pay for it. You did not need to do that. So basically I need nine colors. This is already taking way longer than I thought. Fabrizio, get rid of that free trial. I'm happy to pay the $7. If you could share this video with Fabrizio and just let him know, I'm happy to pay the $7. So let's try that again. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's more like it. This blue is gonna be our primary. There is a strong chance this might just look bizarre. Oh yeah, it's gonna look bizarre. So success, it's gonna be Cafe Noir, obviously. Look, I didn't say this wasn't gonna be a complete shambles. I did not say that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? Oh well, rules are rules. Let's copy this. Right, let's see how we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an index page. It's worth noting, this is Nux and I've adapted it from the default installation to make it compatible with pages and components. Basically, what I mean by that is I've changed the app.view so it now says Nux page. So we're gonna say pages and we're gonna say index.view. So we've got an index.view file here. First thing we're going to include is a navbar. So let's have a look. I'm going to go navbar. This doesn't exist yet, but we're going to create that here. And now if we go to Daisy UI components. Have a look at the navbars. And we're going to pick one that we like the look of. This is a one page website. So it's going to be really simple. Simple links that zoom down to the relevant sections on the website. Let's do a responsive one. Let's do this one. So I'm going to copy that. Add a template tag. Paste it in. Save that. Save that. And then let's have a look what we've got. Oh, an error, perfect. Let's just restart the server. So I'm just gonna change this very slightly. 
we can say about what did I say? I can't remember. Contact was one of them. It was a blog. It was a blog and contact. That's going to be the name of our web development website. John Webdev. Original. And for the button, what would we have? I actually hate thinking up content on the spot. I, I don't recommend you do things like this. If you're actually, if you're building an actual website, <coughs> have your content content sorted first. Uh, this is just going to be get estimate. Pretty good so far. So that's our nav menu. Now we're going to do a hero section. I'm not going to do any pictures because I didn't prepare any. So. That's why we're not. So let's go to components, new file, hero, dot view, template, paste that in there. Save, have a look. Didn't add it to the index. Save, have a look. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Okay, now I'm gonna go to chat GPT and just copy the content that I generated. that whoa that looks really really good the color scheme especially next section i said about i believe an about section did i say that yeah I did. so for this about section pretty much want a little block of text i'm gonna have to do it myself aren't i maybe i need to make a little container and you see this is this is something that's missing from all these uis it's just a simple bit of text i know that's because they they assume that people aren't so stupid and inadequate that they're unable to just put a bit of text on a page but i am i am i can't be thinking about that you can't do all of this and then expect me to do something that involves using my own brain i guess i'm gonna have to do this myself about dot view i'm gonna say templates Not ideal. I can't bother to faff around too much. I think this is already, oh my God, this is taking ages. I think we can discount this section because this is basically what it's gonna look like when I build it myself. A bit shit. Never think about that again. Blog section. So basically, three cards. I didn't wanna to have to use my brain. I'm gonna to have to create a card. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I was gonna have to use images. Okay, let's just use this, pretty really funky. So I'm gonna have three of these. So I'm gonna say, All right, let's see how that looks. Doesn't look amazing, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So what was next? Contact section. I'm gonna basically have to create this myself. All right, let's just keep it, keep it simple. Let's just keep it really simple. Really, really simple. So we're gonna say, Next input. So we just want a simple form. I'm, and I'm not actually going to hook this form up or do anything with it. It's just going to be for visual purposes only. Whoops. Okay. Let's get button as well. We'll just use a primary button. Whoa, that looks absolutely terrible.
a little bit better. Probably should put a title. Okay, looks rubbish, but it has worked. So I'm gonna just give that button a little bit of margin at the top. Perfect. Now we just wanna put a footer in our Daisy UI website. By the way, to the creator of Daisy UI, I'm so sorry that I've made this look rubbish. It's not your fault, it's my fault completely my fault. The colour scheme's bad, I'm bad, the whole concept for this video is bad. Nothing you have done. Daisy UI is very good. Very good indeed. I'm just going to use a very simple footer. I haven't got a logo, let's just do this. Footer, dot view, simple paste that in there. All rights reserved by John Web Dev Index Footer. Might need to add some padding or something. No. Okay, so that is our Daisy UI website. Pretty good. I know it looks horrible, but I think it's just the colors I chose more than anything. But you can see how easy that was, relatively, to make a website in a really quick amount of time without really having to do much yourself. If you need to just smash a website out quickly, you can see how that would be very useful. So that's part one of three parts. Next video is going to be building the exact same website, but with Tailwind UI. That's going to be interesting and then we can get a good comparison of how easy it is to use both Tailwind UI and Daisy UI, which is quicker to use, which looks better. And then the third website will be built by me using just Tailwind. Okay, bye.